Welcome to the breathtaking Greater Salty, a remote island off the coast of Ireland, famous for cute puffins, curious seals and dramatic cliff faces. Getting to the island is an adventure in and of itself. The Salty Ferry leaves from Kilmore Quay in County Wexford. This small boat fits around 10 to 15 people and it's not exactly smooth sailing. Be prepared for rough seas and getting splashed in the face with salty water. After a thrilling 20 minute journey, we arrive at the Greater Salty Island. Since there's no key on the island, the boat transfers you to a rib, eight people at a time. The rib brings you past the hordes of seals and up onto the beach. It's a wet landing, meaning you get out into the actual water, so be prepared to get your feet wet. Visitors have around three hours on the island before the ferry returns. You'll spend all this time walking around because there are no facilities or shelters on the island. The only structure is the private home of the family that owns the island. As we explore the island, you'll notice just how serene and untouched it feels. It truly feels like a hidden paradise. The entire island is a bird and wildlife sanctuary, home to thousands of seabirds, including the iconic puffins. Nicknamed sea parrots and sometimes the clowns of the sea due to their colourful markings, these unique birds can be spotted on the island in April, May and June. Puffins are highly extraordinary seabirds and they do like to do things differently than other winged species. For example, they don't construct a typical bowl-shaped nest to breed babies as most birds do. Instead, they actually copy rabbits and dig burrows about three feet into the ground, building their soft nest of grass at the back of this burrow. Puffins form long-term bonds and are known to be monogamous. This means the pairs usually stay together for their entire lifetime, for better or for worse. However, they do migrate independently and spend the winter months apart from their significant other. Surprisingly, when coming back to the shore for breeding season, puffin pairs somehow manage to reunite at the same burrow to nest. Even more surprisingly, after all the thousands of miles that puffins fly to breed in this isolated area, they only have one puffling per year. Alongside puffins, plenty of gannets, guillemots, razorbills, cormorants, great black-backed gulls, kittiwakes and manx shearwaters all call the Salty Islands their home. But perhaps the most eccentric part of the Salty Islands history is its former owner, Prince Michael I, a man of grand dreams and eccentricities. As a child, he vowed one day to own the Salty Islands and, true to his word, he made it happen. He bought the island. Michael then declared himself a prince and the sovereign ruler of the Salty Islands and even had a grand coronation ceremony on the island, complete with a throne, which is still there today, and ceremonial robes. His passion for the island and its wildlife knew no bounds. Today, Prince Michael's legacy lives on through the island's dedication as a bird sanctuary. His vision of preserving the natural beauty of the Salty Islands for generations to come is a testament to his eccentric yet admirable spirit. Whether you're here to marvel at the wildlife, soak in the stunning scenery, or simply escape the hustle and bustle of mainland life, the Salty Islands have something for everyone. Don't forget to bring your camera, because you will want to capture every moment of this unforgettable adventure.